Okay, and I think we are live again. Quite quite sooner than one would have expected, as it has been just one week after our after our last stream. But we're gonna try to stream these competitive events a bit more often these days. So welcome everyone. And I hope we're gonna have some fun and learn something. And we already have Andres in the chat who says times two watch Rose and Speedrun on YouTube or learn on Twitch. Of course you're not gonna watch me. Of course you're not gonna watch me. So because the Rose and Speedrun at least you can at least you'll at least the streams are actually watchable. Mine my streams are not if you agree with that. Um, hope you're doing well. If you're asking about the VIP icons, I, I have removed them for every single for every single person. Just so that um, just so that I wouldn't have like not issues but questions from the chess chess.com stuff uh, about emote about messages going on when emote only chat is turned on uh, as we had last time. And yeah, hope you're doing great, Andres. Now, I'm not sure how late it is, how late it is in Australia, but uh, but you could stick around for a game or two, I suppose. Uh, not sure if there are other viewers also, also here. Um, okay, today we're quite high on the... Today we are quite high on the standings, as we have blitz rating of 3000. And when you are 3000, you don't get to play 3000. So, at least not until, like, round... We'll see. Depends how much you win, of course. Um, but yeah, with 28, 50 or 2900, you usually get to play some 30, 50 or 30, 30 100 quite quite early, like in round 4 or 5. So. We'll see how this goes. Um, okay, two more minutes before the round starts. Could I get a confirmation that you can see me, hear me, etc.? That would be nice. I think everything is going smoothly, but... One more minute. I'm not 100% sure what to do. We have no time for some casual games or puzzles, so let's just wait. I was hoping, I was hoping that most of the players who are playing in the ground Swiss won't play here, but we already seen a Kamura, and our Ditsky, who is not playing but commentating, is also here. Blue Bomb is here. Fabi is even playing, wow. So it's not gonna be Kamer is playing. Everyone is spending their day off their day off playing Title Tuesday. <clears throat> what to do? We're gonna have to win it the hard way. Twenty five more seconds. I think it's slowly time for I think it's slowly time for emote only chat. So let's go. Already in round one we have a twenty five oh eight player. 
let's play our old Slav exchange. We always play the same every turn title Tuesdays. It's boring for the viewers, but it works. And they don't play for the audience. At least not usually. Except when I ask when I ask for opening advices. I'm waiting for bishop f5. That's why I'm not castling, so that I can take and go g4, as you will now see. Um, that's the point of leaving the rook on h1. So now this is a very, very dangerous position. Uh, okay, so he takes knight g4, and I think... Oh, wait, now I have to remember how this goes, actually. Do I go rook h7, takes knight g5? It's probably... I mean, even that is possible. It takes, there will be queen h5, a huge threat. Um, you can also go knight g5 immediately, then he goes knight f6. Then something. And then what? Queen d3, there is h6. I'm thinking for way too long. I'm thinking for way too long. Let's make a move. I could regret this, but I will take. Check, take this. If e5 or something, I still go queen h5 because then this is a mate threat. And if rook e8, then we will be able to take here. Okay, this move I didn't see. That's a problem. Clearly, he wants queen f5. If queen h5, then we have a problem. Queen f5. And I'm not sure how to, like, knight d5 I could take. Okay, I don't know, but it still looks kind of good. It takes, I take here. If it takes, there is checkmate. I'm threatening some nasty things like rook c6. So for example, f6, rook c6, fg5, there is, there is this. There we go. <laughs> that was easier than I expected, but it was not a clear position. He was supposed to play some rook e8 or something to defend d7 pawn. Um, so we can deactivate him out only. Let's see. I think is this is very good for um, for white after it takes in g4. I know that white is better, but I don't know the exact reputation. Um, rook h7 is a blunder. But it was just too attractive, too attractive to play. So here, queen c2 or queen d3. And then I wasn't sure after h6. So just bishop e5. Yeah, I mean things like this are relatively like with, when the bishop is here, it's kind of hard, it's kind of hard to break through, but the engine just gives a huge advantage. I suppose rook h six or something, or just keep it positional. But it, it didn't seem all that clear. Still, it was better than why I didn't think. Isn't is there some normal move I can play? Yeah. Oh, hi there, Nicola. Three K monster is getting really scary. Nah, yeah, yeah, we're now playing title Tuesday as one of the top seeds. Not really, though, I'm like 18 seeds or so. It's the first time my rating has ever gone so high. I mean, I had 29.90 some time ago. Yeah, Rook H7, this was probably way too brave. Queen C8 was a nice move, I didn't see it. And then Knight D5, yeah, F6, I said it doesn't work. Funnily enough, the engine gives e4, it's even stronger. Yeah, it's a very fair point, because the queen cannot defend h7. But I just saw that he cannot take this knight or this knight. So it's good enough. He was supposed to play some move like... Oh, okay, then there's knight c7. Some move like this, then. As I said, to defend the pawn in e7. And I wasn't sure what my plan is, because if I go for something like this, then the d4 pawn is relatively weak, and I can probably still go knight a6. Because they have huge activity, but it's definitely not what I want. I don't want to exchange queens on them. So. Yeah, this was the problem that I didn't see. I didn't see queen c8. 
Well, we get the win, we move on. And, and yeah. Um, what else to say? Nothing too special. There are not too many viewers. Maybe they're angry, angry because I removed everyone's VIP. Could be. But again, as I said, we don't we don't want any we don't want any not trouble, but questions from Chesert.com where they're com where they're comments when they're supposed to be only emotes. So anyway, on this channel VIP doesn't mean any, doesn't mean anything. We're not affiliates or partners or anything. So Playing some OPS right now, some lyric mode by me. Sure, sure, Nicola. Hope you'll have fun. We're having... We're gonna try to stream these title Tuesdays and any competitive events more often. But... Uh, but yeah. I'm not sure how that's gonna work when I'm, when I'm, over, uh, when I'm playing over the board tournaments. But for now, let's have fun. Hi there, Tapes no Chess. Welcome to the stream. Sorry if I mispronounced your name. I'm just. Uh, I'm usually not too good at that. Okay, well, who do we watch? Let's see how Fabi is doing. Maybe I should have turned on some game. Some game immediately. I guess Fabi needs some time to, like, readjust to Blitz after playing classical chess for so long. Because he's now fighting for a draw against 20, 25, 18. Oh, no, no, I pronounced correctly? Okay, that's good. Um... Yeah, Fabi is the only one who can lose this game, but probably White is happy with a draw. No, he's not. He's going for the win, but you cannot really... You cannot really play for a win uh, with Black. <laughs> or with White, or this pawn is not going anywhere now. Maybe he was supposed to try to bring the king this way before. Now it's just a draw. You can take the knight, you can go with b8, you can give the knight... Give the rook for the knight. Doesn't expecting expecting the game to be over quickly. Probably just got no chills, just tournaments after tournaments in the middle of a tournament. Yeah, that's what that's what I said in the beginning of the stream. Like mo most of the top, okay, not most, but quite a few number, of, quite a big number of top players are doing the are doing the title Tuesday on their free days. So. Okay, let's see. Let me see how my countryman is doing. He won. He won. FM. And LLO777. Um, okay, this is a dead draw, but only black can win clearly in Blitz. See, I'm drawing against Fabi. That's unbelievable. I mean. These things happen like once in every five or six title Tuesdays that that the top seeds. Uh... It's amazing that White is trying to win. That uh, the top the top seeds don't win in round one. It happened to me like once in six or seven title Tuesdays. But yeah, it it is a big surprise. That's fairly true. Like even Nakamura sometimes lost in round one. Just don't take now. Yes, surprisingly enough, White is playing for this for a win. That's because of the rating, of course. And this, I think this is... Uh, I'm not sure what's her name, but I think this is a female player from Russia. Not 100% sure. Um, 
I don't expect too much to happen, especially if Black's not pressing, because if Black was to play for a win, then I, I would mean I would go b5 or like any day to try to push, because I can never lose, even if I lose the pawn, it's, it's a dead draw again. Even if I lose the bishop, it's a dead draw. Okay, Ganymans in the draw. Is there anything else going on? Yeah, there are some games. Um, no, there aren't. Okay. Uh, I have to go to emotes only, as we have round two. Playing a Mongolian FM. I don't think I've played against him before. We stick to our French, our old title Tuesday repertoire, which I've had a lot of experience in playing in, in the last 8,000 8, Blitz games. Bishop d3, really. Don't remember seeing this move. It can't be too bad, but. The structure will stay the same as it always does in the winner. I'll play my old my old favorite plan with c4 and queen a4, skipping this so that there would never be a4 in this. And his uh, his f4 is uh, is an interesting idea. Like I really want to play f5, but I think I can do it next move. Because f5, if takes takes, then he loses some central control, and later there will be ideas like this. And if he doesn't do anything, then uh, I'm just gonna try to play some something like h6 castles, rook d8, and d8, and f7, g5 and just attack here and attacking here is extremely hard when you're when you're white um so let's see how my opponent reacts i think knight g5 doesn't work because of h6 check g6 and then there are two pieces hanging um yeah i mean ef gf don't really believe in he can try some knight h4 after that there is a point to it because then you want f5 Provoking either e5 or e5. It's extremely double edged, but at least it has a strategic idea. And rook e2, I really don't like. Now I just get. Now I think I just get my uh, my idea in. Like he wants to double the rooks later and guard all of this, but I don't think don't think that's how you should play. Another idea, of course, in the French. You should, I didn't play it last move because of knight g5, but this bishop is usually bad in the French and. You want to you want to either exchange it or activate it like on e4 it would be game over if it came there but bishop b8 like some knight h2 and uh, I, I mean i would first first firstly play play this move and then see see what happens g6 was also possible but then after h5 i'm not sure if anything would have changed because after g5 there would be ticks um okay maybe i'm trying to make this too instructive it is blitz it is titled this name it is a competitive event but it has always been my style. So bishop p8, trying to go here. And I'm pretty sure bishop h5 is right now. Probably bishop g4 first. Or maybe it's not even needed, maybe just bring the knight. He's trying to clearly escape. Then there are other plans in the winner for like king b8, knight c8, queen a5, knight b6, knight a4, but it's kind of slow here. Ninety-eight here. I'm thinking for way too long again. Okay, let's play queen a5. First, it's a tempo because I want to take and take. Secondly, I want the queen on d8, and then it will be easier to attack on this side of the board. Okay, this looks like a blunder. No, it doesn't because he can take h5. Okay, we trade this then. And now what? I really want g5. I'm not sure how good it is immediately. Okay, let's let's bring the knight here first then. If he go ever goes h5, then g6, and I will open this all of this. Goes a4. It's similar to a Banco Gambit now. I need to start making moves. <sighs> I 
Okay, I'll, I'll go G5. I'm not sure if it's good, and they have to stop talking and start start playing. Okay, take. Which move to play now? Okay, I just six F four maybe or something similar. F four. There is this. I didn't play this well. I didn't play this well, and now it's gonna be a struggle to even make a draw. <sighs> Have to bring the knight back, and I allowed allowed him everything, even the attack on the side, which is never supposed to happen in these structures. Probably now I'll try to take. Can I go here? I'll try. Knight h4, then maybe knight h8. I really, really misplayed this. Ah, there is even this which I didn't see. He even has this, wow. And I guess I just lose in the spot, right? 91, and they have no good moves. But yeah, this was like... This was really well played by, by White. Played much better than me there. <coughs> Clearly I spent way too much time and I had a great position of the opening, but then suddenly I misplayed. And I'm curious why I write down wrong. Yeah, g5 was wrong, I should just wait, maybe. Knight to 6 but and they just, just have a bad position. It did feel... okay, some rook g7, maybe... But yeah, it felt like an almost flawless game by white. So... Kind of curious about the accuracy. Ninety percent. I have no idea who this player is, but if he plays like this, then he's really strong. Okay, we move on. Very interesting game. Usually, when I'm playing against last last week when I played against Eric Gaishi Dubov and Michal Sarin, nobody played like this. That I have no chance. Okay, we move on. Okay, I got this with C's here and then just run the king all the way here. It's probably still a draw, but not so easy anymore. Okay, now it is easy. Oh, hey there, Shelling. One of our most famous trolls is here. Your Chingun, Su, and Chazard come? 
then you played then you played one of the one of the strongest games I have seen. Welcome to the stream showing by the way, hope you're doing well. Emotes only has to go up again and we, we press on. Like not much you can do when your opponent plays plays a brilliant game. No matter who, no matter who you are, if your opponent plays brilliantly, you you will probably lose. Okay, I think you go when the queen is on c8, h3, g3. Maybe there is also some some stuff with h4, which is new new engine ideas. Anyway, main thing is. Main thing is that I need to I need to play faster and stop talking so much. Like I tried to I made it as if I was explaining as if I was explaining some classical game. In the last game I was explaining ideas and so on. And then suddenly I had no time. Even if I had time maybe I would lose, but at least maybe there would be chances. So e5, they usually the Volga players usually don't like to face the move e5 because it gets them into a structure they're unfamiliar with. I'm not sure how good e5 is in this position, objectively of course, but we might as well try it. I mean, probably he should take take, and then play e6 either immediately or after taking the bishop. If he goes immediately, then I can take the knight and then probably the pawn. Then go ninety four, so I suppose take take and then e six. But then at least my rook covers covers the square. But yeah, it might it might again not have been the greatest the greatest idea. Okay, let's go. Go rook d1, e d5, knight d5, rook some, some rook to d8. It doesn't look great. Maybe let's just go away from the pin then. Then if takes takes rook d8, we could go some knight of 6 and then queen c3. At least that's my hope. And if he goes rook d8 immediately, as I was. So it's just about to save. I think we can go d6 and try to attack the pawn. This will I will drop this pawn, but but when I get this, these two passers, my king is relatively safe, and these two passers are I hope going to be a decisive factor in the end game. Um. Okay, this is not a threat yet. That's why he's thinking. He's trying to exploit. He's trying to exploit that he has that he has a move basically. But there are some interesting ideas I also have, if he allows them. It was knight b five. Now let's think. Knight d four exists. I'm not sure how good it is. There is knight d four stuff. Because then there will be some nasty, nasty things. So maybe it's just. Sometimes simplest the simplest moves are the best, so let's let's just take and and try to attack this pawn. Cause if he goes some queen c6 and we go to the rook endgame, take take, this two pawn should decide the game fairly easily. And if he doesn't do that, I'm not sure what he's going to do. Given rook c8, d7, I will still be able to take. Okay, goes queen b6 trying to trying to take with the rook. That makes a lot of sense. Maybe let's go d7 first. Um, as this is not gonna escape, you cannot defend it. And now I could consider rook d1. Because now the pawn. Yeah, I will go rook d1. This is hanging again. And now this is. You cannot really double and take the pawn, at least not easily. And some f6 will always run into this. And otherwise, I just push the pawn and maybe even reinforce the defense of, of this sudden. 
Uh, okay, goes there. Queen d6 is a move. Queen c2 is also a move. Maybe let's just play a simple move. Like if f6, then I will go rook e3, rook f7, rook d3, and try to preserve the pawn. Maybe we're gonna we're gonna see that line. Yeah, we will. Um, and now they're always when this is the undefended, they're always like loose pieces. Can sometimes you can sometimes lose the loose pieces. For example, rook d6 first. It goes somewhere. It takes here. It's not so clean. Maybe I should just take the pawn and then try to push this later on. Um, why queen f3? The point is takes, takes, I suppose. And then takes, 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 queen f2, king h1, and he indeed has perpetual here. So we'll have to, we'll have to sort, solve the problems in a bit different way. Probably with queen e3. There were probably some more precise moves, but like, okay, king g1 was maybe easier. But I don't want to overthink. Okay, take, take. This is hanging, and now I think I just push the pawn. Can now I probably take because if takes, 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 then I get the pawn. Okay, how do I play this? Maybe here. Even if he cuts off the king, he will lose this pawn, I suppose. Or maybe not, because I will have two pawns hanging. Did I again manage to misplay an endgame? I think I did. Yeah, there is no way I can defend those pawns. Wow. Now I have to try to win this endgame, which I'm not sure is winning, by the way. I'll try to put my pawn on g5, and then this... Okay, wait, now this is a weakness. Let's try to fix that weakness and then run the king this way. Okay, now let's bring the king to the eight rank. Eight rank. That's usually quite bad for them. Okay, I'll go here. If it takes, there is rook c seven b seven. Should be at least. King up. And then, he, considering the king is cut off, he cannot defend the promotion. Okay, I must manage to screw up the end game. Even the one that's winning is this. Okay, you can talk again. He moves only is. I mean, I should play some normal Volga plan, not e5 in this position. e5 is not needed. Like a4 or whatever the normal, normal plans are. Yeah, f6 I consider, but it's like rook e2, e5, rook e7, it's not so... Like, his king is somewhat exposed. And here I don't think he saw d6. This was probably all fine. Should just take B C and play it on. King G one was better, yeah. Queen E three. Even Queen E three was good, but not take because I did not understand immediately that I just have no way of defending of defending one of my pawns. Yeah, and I I don't know if the end game is probably objectively drawn, but when this pawn is here, it's probably then it's probably not drawn. I mean. It's less important, but we managed to win a game. Um, okay. I'm not playing well today. We have to. I'm actually. Yeah. Okay. Um, I want to say I'm not even actually playing that badly, but I just got crushed in game two. With no with no chances. The final game was like okay I'm I'm curious to see how, how this opponent is playing 
the other games because what he did against me was very impressive. Uh, hi there, hi there, Zets. Eight. Yeah, this is rated. This is Title Tuesday, a weekly Chess.com event, uh, only for title players. Eleven rounds. It happens twice. Uh, twice per per Tuesday. One at one at four thirty. Oh, no, one at four uh, four p.m. my time, Zagreb time. One at ten p.m. Z uh, Zagreb time. So we'll probably lose a lot of rating. We started with three thousand. Hi there, Mir Mircha, the best. How is it going on the Isle of Man? I mean, I saw the I saw your games and results. Good to have a GM in the chat. Emotes only has to go up again. We're playing against some Norwegian item. The thing is, when you lose a game early, you basically need to win every single game. So we'll have to play sharp openings. Uh, yeah, and by the way, Mircha, as you might have noticed, the VIP is gone for everyone because because of the emote only chat being needed in Title Tuesday and so on. And basically, VIP doesn't mean anything in this, in this channel. We're not even partners, we're doing Twitch partners, we're just doing this for fun. The point of this line is to go bishop page 6, get rid of our worst place piece, and just play, just play strategically in the dark squares. We won a game in this easily in the last, last Title Tuesday. Okay, let's go a5 first. Uh, if he, I'm waiting for him to waste a move to threaten queen d2, and then I will go here. Okay, uh, go knight bd7 first. Okay, Mircea, you still, still have more rounds on the Grand Swiss. You can, you can, you can recover. It's a long tournament. Okay, um, b1. I think now is the time to go here. I'm not sure what other useful move I can make. Here we're gonna take take here. I don't know if King F8, King G7, or should I castle immediately? Probably both is fine. But okay, let's castle. <clears throat> Maybe I'll need the rook on the F8 for some F5s. C5 I can still take twice, knight b5, I mean, I can go knight e8, but then there is c5, it's more likely that they'll play b6. Again, I'm trying not to overthink, after rook a1, he might be, he might be better, though I didn't see rook a1. Yeah, this could be a problem. Okay, let's try to go for, for this, just hang on to the c7 pawn and try to expand on the the queen, on the king side. Um, yeah, queen a7, f5 takes, takes, bishop h5, do I dare to sack a pawn like this? Probably not, because I'm a chicken. Yeah, okay, let's go h4 first and then we'll do all of that. f5 this knight to f6 and then try to hang on to the c7 pawn and create some counterplay. This line is, is objectively not too good against the king's indian, against the normal king's indian, but uh, like for blitz, for blitz it, you can use it sometimes. Um, especially when you need to win games <laughs> because you get out of theory. At least my time management is better than it used to be. I'm one minute up on the clock. That's a very strange move. Like, first of all, I have 9 6 and he probably has to go back. 
Second leg can go f5. Takes takes and then e4 and knight e5. He's maybe trying to take take go here. But I mean, even if we go knight f6 and take with the knights. Okay, let's, let's think. Now is the time to use my time advantage here. If bishop f3, then I can maybe go knight h7, knight g5. If f3, then I probably take and go queen g5. That's not too big of a deal. Let's try that. I know that I'm allowing c5 because the knight from d7 isn't covering it anymore. Maybe it's not so important. Let's go knight g5. If he moves the bishop, he hangs this. Queen a3. Okay, now I can go f5 or queen f6. Queen f6 threatens h3. Looks like an annoying move to deal with. Let's ask him how he was going to deal with that. He can go h3, though. I didn't see that immediately. I shouldn't be saying the most thing. <laughs> they could be eavesdropping. <laughs> um... Yeah, I should have gone f5 immediately. I don't know what's wrong with me. But let's go there now. Could even go e4. Okay, let's take first. c5, take, take. Let's go e4, f4. I'm not too worried about the weaknesses on d6 or c7. I think this this will not not pose too many problems. Unless he has this, which I didn't see. Yeah, that's a good spot by my opponent. Can I go knight f6? Probably yes. I'm not sure if anything I'm doing here is correct. But no time to think. The rookie 7 is a threat. Maybe, maybe not. I'll go to f4 or b2, and then I, I really need this. I feel like. So this is a threat. Can I take. Let's see. What's the point? I'm not really sure. Yeah. He's one move late. Okay, we got the win. And we're stuck on 3 out of 4. We turn off emotes only. And we move on. Yeah, not a great game by any means, but the line got us the job done. Take, take. What have I done wrong? Maybe even nothing. Maybe it's just... This kind, this kind of slow advantage for white. Queen f6 was such a stupid move. And I didn't see h3. Queen f4 felt like it's not. Like he will go queen e3 and rook a7. Engine says it's playable. And here it was already starting to get double edged. Take, take, cd, cd, knight f6. Yeah, knight f7 is possible to defend. Uh, knight d4 was knight d4 was probably a crucial move. Not sure what I would have done against that, but after this, yeah, here, queen a1. I only saw queen d4. <laughs> queen a1, I didn't see, but okay, it was a tight scramble. And here he was just one move too slow. Okay. Three out of four is good so far. <laughs> right. We lost we lost ten rating points with that three out of four. How can that be good? Now there are no more VIPs on the channel. You could also say that I don't like any of my viewers anymore. But 
the real explanation is of course is of course not that Yeah, but this is how the King's Indians usually work. You have a worse position, and then somehow in tactics you spindle them. What happened to the VIPs? I just removed them so that there wouldn't be that there just wouldn't be any any traffic in the chat when it has to be moots only during uh, during uh, Title Tuesday and competitive events. But I mean, VIP doesn't mean anything in this channel. So it's like you have it's there is no difference for you guys. There is no difference for you guys. I'm still curious how this I said that I'm curious about how this player is, is gonna play the rest of his games. He lost two in a row against strong GMs, but I'm curious about the play. Where? Like he blundered a pawn in one move. How much me win? How many wins do I have? I have uh, three wins out of four games. First one I won, then I lost, then I won two more, and there are seven more rounds on this tournament. Now is the time for for the chat questions. Catch, catching up with the chat. We have a six minute break. So, yeah. Not 100% sure what to say. Not too thrilled with my chess so far, thus far. My English is not great either. Maybe next title Tuesday I'll stream in Croatian. How about that? How many points do you think you'll have at the end? I mean, my last like three title users were nine, seven and a half, nine, and then in the last one I I didn't finish it when I lost to that FM who beat me, Grishuk, and four more strong strong GMs, uh, and I lost to Hans, of course. In a row, in two games in a row to that FM and Hans. So your guess is as good as mine about my points in the end. Can you give me some advice? I'm beginner in chess. I mean, problem is not not the problem. Like there are many many useful tools today for beginners to improve, like on YouTube, online. Uh, and so on, but usually it's about usually you need to first learn some. Um, you first need to learn some easier opening tier, like for example, London with white or King's Indian setup with black. Something it's not doesn't matter what the objective evaluation is, just something with that you're familiar with and understand. And when you do that, like. Play, play online blitz to improve in that and analyze your own games. And other than that, solve tactical puzzles because there you can see all kinds of all kinds of known motives and ideas in the all known motives uh, and ideas with, uh, which can arise in many positions. And that's like how it goes. But it took me 15 years to become a GM from a beginner's. It's not it's a long road. Do you think I am Zhalmachanov is a legit player? His results are extraordinary at the Grand Swiss. I mean, how should I know? 
I don't I don't think I've heard the name before the Grand Swiss. So hard to me for me to comment on anything. Especially as I'm and as I'm not there. I don't know the player's behavior at the board, I don't know the anti-cheating control, I don't know anything. So hard to give a good comment. Hi there, Monsopia. Ten out of eleven maybe. Yeah, I would need to win seven out of seven. That's not so easy. Any reason you didn't play either Eye of Man of Cutter? Hi there, it's me here. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, there is a reason. I didn't get invited. Very simple reason. You can't play Grand Swiss if you're not invited. Qatar, I'm not sure, but I think it's the same thing. Who is this GM, Dr. Velja? Third on list, that's Velimir Ivic from Serbia. One of Serbian's best players, very strong player. Uh, he is two years old, uh, younger than me. He had a great result in the World Cup 2000. When was it? 2022, I suppose, or 21? I don't even remember. Okay, any more questions? Let's see how much time we have 16 more seconds. So there will be no more time for, for questions anyway before the next uh, for the next game of course. So let's go to emotes only. You've seen Jal Mahana play online quite a lot, around 2900 3000 with boots, so not that surprised. Okay, I don't think I, re I remember him uh, from online games, but let's deal with that some other time. Now we have a white game against an Indian FM. I don't know who he is, but we're gonna stick. We're gonna stick with the stuff I'm most familiar with. The stuff uh, I wrote a chessable course about the Macagon of Kings Indian, H3 Bishop P3. By the course, guys. It's almost decent. Let's go queen d2. Take, take. You have seen this on stream at least 100 times from me. So. Black has several ways, several ways of playing against this. He can take on d5, then go a5, a4, queen a5, bishop d7, b5, b4. Or he can take, take, go bishop d7, rook c8. Or he can try something with h5, which is a very thematic King's Indian stuff. He can choose. All of this is covered in my course, if you're curious about it. I think that in my Twitch description there is, there is a link, there's a link to the course. And there is also a link to the YouTube channel, which I which I also created recently, so that the streams would would stay there. Oh no, I suppose to go knight b5 is in the game against Buddha. You know, he can go bishop d7 to prevent it. Yeah, I'm playing too quickly now. Doesn't matter. This is still good. It goes b5 now? What's that about? Is it queen b6? But then I just go rook c1 and threaten knight d6 as it was played in that game too. I think I did this. Um, yeah, he can go there and now have a very, very pleasant choice. Actually, go h5 or. Knight a3, knight c4 also looks very good. Um, let's think a bit. h5, queen h2 is the most logical stuff, of course. h5, bishop a6, knight a3, bishop f1, king f1, rook b8, knight c4. I don't know, looks good. I don't want to overthink. Really don't want to overthink after that. After that start of the tournament. Take, 
takes takes. For now we're following the line which I briefly mentioned. But I am a pawn up, so no reason to complain. He'll probably go queen a6, yeah. Suppose I go here. There are several several strategical ideas, like rook c1, rook c2, and here is one of them, the most logical probably. I can also try to attack, but I'm not sure how good the attack is when everything is so open here. So maybe rook c2, knight b3. And he go knight b3, a b, a b, rook c3, rook c4, queen e2. <clears throat> Yeah, I think it works for me. Let's see. Why didn't I see 94? Okay, I'm really stupid, right? Okay, I can. What can I do now? How to save myself? <laughs> take, take, knight d6, there is queen a2. h6, possibly, but I'm not too convinced about that either. I'm just blundering stuff today. Okay, I'm blundering stuff every day, but today is extremely bad. I don't know, let's make a move. And I'm hoping for rook c6, knight d6. In some of the lines, like if f5, for example, then I can do that. Maybe I'm still better, but I can blunder the full pawn. I only saw knight b3, not knight d4. That's not paying a. That's like. Not paying attention to my opponent's resources, the worst, the worst mistake in shells because your opponent's options are more important than your own options. Knight f6. It's probably a very good move. Rook c6, knight e4, f e. Not thrilled about that. Okay, we'll play, try to play h6, take, take. Then he'll go bishop f6, so now we'll try to go for... Okay, we'll go bishop f8, doesn't matter. I'll try to go for g5 and some slow pressure when his king his doesn't have a lot of fair. Clearly it's... Oh wow, I blundered king one. What's wrong with me today? Maybe it's not something too scary, but I didn't see it and I should have. Four is hanging. The end games are supposed to be good, even though that can be debated too. Can I go rook c7? No, not quite. This was the idea. We got the win, but extremely sloppy game. Uh, okay, emote only goes off. Hi there, always stay humble 11. Hope you're doing well. And welcome to the stream. Very sloppy. Okay, first of all, theoretically this is bad because of knight b5, but even this is this is okay. -ish. And then I was like, I don't know, just completely forgot about knight e4 option. Just I need to make if I if I put the rook on c3, it's basically the same thing. Just there is there are no these tactics. Because the rook is defended, and then my queen e2 always works. I 
Knack and I even didn't see Queen F1. It wasn't anything, it wasn't a big deal, but I should spot my opponent's ideas. Okay, is anyone left in the chat? Or they got heart attacks from, from this game? Actually, never mind, I don't want to. The top seeds are on the top. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, sure, Anjush. You have the excuse of lurking sleepy because you're in Australia. Other viewers don't. They aren't paying attention. Oh, hey there, Sasha. I look same as every day. Um, will there be stream on creation next week? Bad spelling? I mean, maybe I will stream in creation the late title Tuesday today. That's uh, at 10 p.m. And... Uh, like all of those, all of the title Tuesdays and competitive events, I think I will... I think I will put all of them on, on my YouTube, which is which is also in the Twitch description. So that they all they all get saved. I want them to stay saved. I think we're gonna get the next game soon. Almost 3 a.m., so yeah, time to sleep. Yeah, exactly. Good night, Andres, and thanks for dropping by. The end of the stream will be on Twitch and on YouTube available. Um, okay. How's Isle of Man? Yeah, that's a good question. All creation that I know I learned on Chess Cube and shouldn't use it in church. Well. Our chess players, not many, not many people are are Catholics. I am so. It's rainy. Yeah, it's same as in London. You gotta win next game, chat. Okay, emote only has to go up. Sorry, chat. Now we got to play against Kamski. Cool, and I'm pretty sure who win this game we're gonna get accused of cheating. As we have in the last... In the last million times when we won against Kamski. I mean... What does he want to draw? That's the stuff when they play this this French exchange. That equal position. I'm not sure what how to comment because I, I don't know what to say. This is just that equal, and <laughs> I mean, if if a twenty six sixty or whatever his rating is, player is is playing for a draw with white. Okay, like what does he want? Maybe he can have some small advantage. I don't know, because the knight is closer to e5 than my knight is to e4, but I think with this structure it shouldn't be a problem. I have to wait slowly for some chance. 
if it will happen. If it won't, then it won't. But... Ninety-five, but I don't think I'm too scared of such things. Like rookie six, rookie eight. Probably rookie six. Trying, he's trying to put the nine and c5. That makes a lot of sense. Okay, we got the file, don't we? Like take, take knight c5, rook e8. Queen b3, rook e7. I mean, with knight d7, I should be able, or knight e4, I should be able to get rid of this knight. And I don't know how I'm gonna win this game. Still, even if we don't win this. Even if we don't win this, uh, there are still chances because you usually need nine and a half. Okay, goes there. He can go knight e4 maybe. He go, he'll go knight f4. Do I have some tactic there? Probably not. Could take, take, of course. Then his queen could come to c to e7. Okay, how about this? We take, he takes, we go queen b5. He takes a7, we go queen e2. Let's try that. Or we take here. If queen e7, then we definitely take here. Like queen e2, there are some, there could be some problems, some slight problems, because his queen, like, when I, I played a similar game against Krivorushko in an over-the-board game, it was the same structure, and I put this stupid queen on a3, and it, I needed, somehow I needed two or three more moves to, to get it back, it was the Croatian League 2021, and he suddenly launched some kind of attack on my king, and I almost lost, it was a classical game. Kramski is getting into time trouble, which is good. He goes some knight of three, we go queen e2, takes knight e4, I suppose, and then if some check, we go here, and it's important to cover, cover this. Okay, let's see. Now concrete calculation is required. Knight f3, knight e4, check, we go here. Knight g5 is not possible, and that's also not possible to defend this. So... Let's try. He can clearly give a check. We go king h7, he can go queen e5. But then we take, I suppose. I suppose. And then if here we can go knight e5. Oh, knight e4, sorry. And, yeah. There are still chances for perpetuals, etc., et but we can never lose, I think. No, actually, wait. There was there was queen c8, king h2, knight g4. Oh, oh. Okay. Even better. Uh, but now the knight cannot go to f3 anymore. Now we can start collecting some, some of the pawns. At least I think so. And now maybe c5. Or knight d7. Knight d7 is maybe better. Uh, I don't know if he goes there. Queen h2, we go king g8, and there is no queen b8, and this will hang, and otherwise this will hang. And the knight doesn't really have good squares, so check. <sighs> okay, some technique is still needed. Probably knight e5. No, we blundered into a draw. Okay, this is so stupid. Disgusting. This is really disgusting. I, sh I should just play any move like knight of six or whatever. Just not to allow the draw. Clearly, he could have made a draw at any point before. But you need entitled Tuesday. It's just, as we said, it's one wrong move and. Uh, 
and everything's gone. That's titled Tuesday. Last last week it was it was the C seven against Dubov, and now it's now it's this against Kamsky. I'm actually that stupid to blunder into a perpetual, and I had thirty seconds. He had nine. Was there not Bishop H two? I mean, it could have been. Obviously, my play is, is extremely bad today. Yeah, there was Bishop H two. I mean, you would see it in every bullet game, but you didn't see it. You didn't see it. Hmm. No, I mean this is this is really bad. This is really bad. <laughs> a friendly advice. A friendly advice if you want to learn something about chess, go see some other stream. <laughs> Here you won't learn much. Unbelievable. That's very sad. But we move on. And now we have a very difficult task of of scoring of scoring five out of five to win some prize. Let's see how Wesley is doing. Again Shimano lands in a draw. Ivich is lost now? Yeah, my g4 is this. I still need to time it right, probably. How do you win, actually? Do you go f7, king f8, then knight g4? And then knight f6, e7, e8. Yeah, that was probably the win. Knight's a draw. They're both trying to win them. Um... Probably this was the right technique, like to go like when the king is on d6, then go knight g4. If he attacks, I can never mind. It doesn't matter. The chat is silent after we're when I'm blundering stuff. So anyway, I have to go to emote only. The horrors I'm doing at the chessboard today are even worse. Are even worse than the nor the ones I normally do on Title Tuesday. I'm not sure if I played any good game today. Or I didn't blunder something big. And which plan to go for here? Okay, let's just play some. Bishop G3 is not the best move by any means. Just, I don't know. I didn't want to allow Bishop G4 and uh, and H3 there was, there was some G5, G5 craziness. Yeah, knight e5, he'll go probably knight h5, and I don't have bishop h7, because when the knight is on f8, it's covered. Could take and go... Okay, but let's go rook a1 first. I want to take and then I want to go knight a5. And if I go for the minority attack here, it's already... Like, it will take a lot of time to get to b5, because he already has a6. So maybe it's time for for this this plan. A five. I can go c five clearly, but I don't think I'm too too scared of such things. If you go c four either here or here, it should be fine.
Okay, I'll just go to Knight of Six. Now I can just play slow chess, which is maybe best. Or I can take GC5 and then go Knight A4. Now let's slow play it. Queen B6, so go here. Knight E6 also, so I think Queen F2 is best. It's not the only move, though. Where's Knight F7? King F7, Bishop G6. Smaller takes. Okay, this is not so easy to calculate. But his pieces do look, do look relatively, relatively misplaced. Let's see. There is also queen b6, by the way. But I think I can go bishop g6 or knight e5, and if knight e4 there is queen f2, so I'm not too worried about that. What? What's wrong with my mouse? Check. Next move, take wherever he goes, and then I will try to put, put push f5 and then maybe even f6, or maybe queen g6 first. Let's see because now there is queen h7 too. Let's try to play this in the most accurate way f5, knight g4, queen f2. It's probably not right, queen g6 might be best. Bishop d7, queen a6, yeah, okay, let's make a move, let's make a move, I will go all in probably with f5 and f6 and stuff, why didn't I see this move, oh, I didn't I see this move. <sighs> Let's try to double. I don't know what's what Baron moves. Like G4, there was knight D4, G5, Bishop F5. Uh, I'll try to double and then then something. I'm not even sure what that something is. Maybe G4 now. I have 26 seconds. <sighs> this is one of my, like, not worst, but one of my bad title Tuesdays, that's for sure. Maybe going in with 3000 on title Tuesday is not a good idea. <laughs> At least he's also getting low on the clock, but give me some chance. And then trouble, all kinds of plunders can happen. Let's go back. Push. Okay, now he's allowing all kinds of stuff. And now this is hanging. Rook takes was probably better though. We somehow won this, but it was also not a good game. Okay, you can talk, chat. 
Remember how I got wrong? Probably when I took... When it took Knight of Sovereign, I should just play position one. Because here I'm slightly better, but... Yeah, and could just Queen F2, play position B5, then F5, and... Uh, in the future, G4, and just play first. Just, sorry, slight position wide. F5, Knight G5, Rook E8, and then F6. Okay, <laughs> there's some crazy lines. Let's briefly check this. But... And now in the time scramble, there were a lot of blunders. Rook D5 is probably better. But... Yeah, somehow we won. Somehow we won that. Yeah, good game. Thanks, myself. It wasn't a good game, though, but thanks. Um, and here we are, where we were last several times in stream. Five and a half out of seven. Um, yeah. We even got some rating back. 29.93. Now we're just minus seven. When we look at all the all the games, mainly one. Chonka Balash is going to win against against Velimir, Queen C7, or King here doesn't matter. And the pawn is here, so it's not stalemate. Um, yeah. Hi there, MH Master. Bravo, thank you. <laughs> I swindled away. So. Okay, this is this is an interesting imbalance. <laughs> this game is going to take some more time. This is probably a draw, a perfect play, but it's just a wild guess. It'll probably E takes because if G takes, then the king gets a bit like E three. Queen C2, Queen B1 engine says. Yeah, and now the problem is that you're somehow stuck and you have to start giving up the pawns. Had you taken with the uh, E pawn, then he takes here, but you still keep the shelter on. So, yeah. Um okay. Yeah. So just checking something on my phone. Okay. The game is still going on. Kind of reminds me to that. Was it Terry Gaishi who was playing against Carlson and won in a rapid game? It was similar in the game. When White had bonus here. Doesn't matter. Is anyone still alive in the chat, or not quite? I'm like almost lost some time there. Oh, it's, uh, oh. now it's a draw, F7? No, white won on time. Very interesting. <laughs> Let's just say he was not supposed to win that game. Yeah, you're barely alive. My streams have stopped being watchable. We go to emote only. Play against an FM. I've been getting good positions with the French, very good, but I failed to win any single one of them. The King's Indian is the only thing I won with black. Okay, let's go for a bishop that five line. Castle is also fine. Bishop g4, I think, is also fine. Because if take 6, rook e1, you just go back and then you castle next move. With this bishop gone, it's so dangerous. Okay, castle. 
We had something similar against Neiman last week. Queen d7, I think. I should go. Winning this game is extremely important, by the way, because then we get rid of black. We have six and a half out of eight. And we are white next game. So winning this is definitely what we what we need to go for. Okay, queen e6 could be interesting to try to exploit the pin and then take. Can that can such things work? They could actually. But it's really risky. And things like rook e8, that's probably really pushing it over the edge. K8. Maybe rook e8, rook f8. So that the other rook after d5 goes to d8. <sighs> so it's such a hard position. I mean, okay, let's try. Clearly, the point here is knight d7 takes, queen f8 takes, and we don't lose material. But yeah. Bishop f4, what I expected, then I have to take. And now I suppose he will take with the pawn. And then that's why I played it with this rook so that I have, have these pawns. Okay, takes with the rook. Interesting. Probably I should take that. Just keeps the structure as it is. I mean, now I should definitely have zero problems. Rook e8, knight d5, queen d5, queen f5, f6. What's that? What's that? I mean, I think it works. Let's do that. I don't want to waste a move on c6 yet if I don't have to. Like take take, queen f5, f6, queen h5, there is g6, and I'm not sure that there is any other way to... If some attack on the bishop, then I go to f8. It doesn't really help, I think. But I don't know how I'm going to win. And why is everyone playing the French exchange? So frustrating. Okay, they're also equally frustrated when I play the Slav exchange, but... Uh, what to do? <laughs> Some double standards. <clears throat> What am I missing? Okay, c4 I saw briefly, but I think... Okay, first of all, I can take. Secondly, okay, here there is queen d7, so I should probably just take. But well, what's wrong with that? Okay. It goes there. Yeah, something smells fishy here. First of all, rook e7. Even positions like queen f7 take take bishop c7 rook c1 and then rook c2 rook c8 and rook c2 are probably somewhat better for me but rook e7 check king f7 he has to go bishop g3 yeah i will do this because i don't see it after king f7 his rook is out of play and he has back rank problems so it should be an even better version, as far as I can see. If I'm wrong, then I'm wrong, but I don't think I am. I can technically go queen c8, queen f5, but then at least queen e6. Go here. Okay, I need to stop thinking. Why am I thinking for so long? No, that's too risky. 
Queen C6 doesn't give me a match. That's the problem. And I'm really, really down on the clock. Rook C1 I take. Hopefully he'll do that. I'll stop talking then. Oh, that's a blunder. And this is going to take some more time chat if he doesn't flag that is. There we go. We somehow won that. We somehow won that. That's very, very good. <sighs> now we get white. I got it into too much of a time trouble again. Should have because I was. I, I mean, in general, I have a perfectionist style, and that's good for over the board shots. But for blitz, it's not good. Maybe just yeah. The angels are just as bishop takes and then rook e8, and just play with this strong knight against the bishop. Queen f7 again, as I said. Queen f7 is also slightly better for me. Queen c6 wasn't giving me an edge, but they didn't see anything stronger. And then, but when, like I only had several seconds in this position, but considering that I have no weaknesses, I have very easy play. And then he started blundering, and then I almost, then I almost blundered in in this moment. But bishop reached. Queen queen b4 because I forgot that queen g4 is covered, and I had to find queen b4. And then I blundered h5, but yeah, wild time scramble. Okay, we got a well deserved 6 minute break. Yeah, what an end game. No matter no matter how it looks, <laughs> it was it was one of the better end games I played on Title Tuesdays on stream. Where are we at for Again, we have such horrible tie breaks. I don't believe this. Ah, but yeah, we lost his round two. Oh, that's why. <laughs> that's why. And how is that guy doing? The only one I lost to. Ah, now he's now he is on a roll. He won four in a row after those two. Who is still playing, by the way? Hikaru against Lekwang. And Lekwang is trying to win. I draw by 15. Hikaru has 6.5. We also have 6.5. Maybe we get to play against him. No, we're 12th place. Tiebreak's got a bit better. Okay. Now it comes down to the final three rounds, as always. When is going to be the first time that I win a that I win a prize on stream? Probably never. Bravo times two, thank you, thank you. 
still waiting for the Hikaru Revenge and the Bullet Brawl. It's gonna it's gonna happen, but I haven't played the bro the Bullet Brawl this week, so I haven't streamed it either. And yeah. Yeah, Title Tuesday is always free plus one blitz. Yeah. And Bullet Brawl is one plus zero, that's every Saturday. I've played it sometimes and streamed only once, but not this week. Maybe I'll do it on Saturday, we'll see. Okay, fairly even title Tuesday. Wesley is half a point ahead, and then there are many people on seven and many people on six and a half. Okay, let's calculate the pairings. Like low rated, high rated, lower, 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 higher. Okay, we're we don't play Hikaru. <laughs> we don't play Hikaru. We play either Chigaev or Kovalev or maybe Guhamitrabha. You just don't get easy pairings at this point. That's that's uh, I won't say a problem, but it makes the it makes the job it makes the job hard. Three out of three is needed for a prize, or maybe two and a half. But last two times with like you you saw my last two streams, so you know that I ended. Ninth and sixth with nine points. It's always about tie breaks. Um. Yeah, we even also we we got all almost all of our rating back. We had we had three thousand at the start. Now it's two nine nine seven. Two and a half ain't cutting it. I mean, we'll play every game for a win. We always do. We'll see. We'll see who do we play. And like, I'm pretty sure I should get white because I haven't been like it was white, black, white, black, white, black, white, black. I haven't been doubling uh, any color. Where is Na where is the Karan actually? I don't see him anywhere. Here, maybe he was just like there for the beginning, and after that round one draw, he he didn't continue the tournament as he should. Like he should focus on the Isle of Man. Hikari Savage <laughs> in what way? Um, let's see, how much longer do we have? Probably one, oh, two minutes. Two minutes, ten seconds. Now you can ask me questions or something, or... I don't know, because there won't be, there won't be another chance for that. I mean, there will be between the rounds, but now we have a two-minute break. Huh. <laughs> Quite tired, actually, I have to say. Because I've been doing some sports in the morning. One more minute. Which sports? I mean, all of all of my classic ones. Uh, you know already. I talked about it. I'm doing handball, uh, table tennis, and bowling mostly, and running, because I've used to train athletics and chess before. So I still I don't train anymore, but I like running quite a lot. Um, 
I was maybe not so smart today though because uh, for the late for the late title Tuesday I'll be extremely extremely tired. This one I can this one I'm also tired and you can see it in my play that I'm not seeing easy things like Bishop H2 against Kamsky or the perpetual against Kamsky or many other things. <laughs> but Okay, we got Kovalev. That was one of the pairings we expected. Okay, let's go to emote only first and let's go for the win. Okay. He's probably gonna play something solid. Yeah, he goes for the queens in the end. And we'll play our bishop f4 line knight d2, castles a3. Take, take. Taking is less popular, it's way more popular to go for uh, bishop, bishop e7 and then d5. Okay, how do we fight e5? Probably either bishop g5 or bishop g3, I'm not sure which one is better. Okay, let's go bishop g5, so that against this, against d5 I have d5. I probably need f3 first, because bishop d3 he can take rook g1, bishop b 7 yeah, I don't think that's worth it. Uh, e5, I will go d5. It's also kind of risky strategically. Is bishop 2 also an option? It might be. Because this I should go f4. And e, d, d. c5. I mean, e, d, d, d5, maybe. Maybe a Bit of a problem, but I don't really believe in it, so let's let's do this. This was like I didn't want to waste one more tempo on queen c2. Even though my old game against Ternaldo from 2017 went d5, I think. It was knight f8. Okay, that allows d. Which I might might be happy with. D. Or even e4. No, e4 he takes. I'm thinking for way too long again. I should not be thinking for so long. I mean, I thought this is good strategically for me. Am I actually wrong? I don't think I'm wrong. Even though maybe I was supposed to go h3 so there is no bishop g4, but I want to go for the quick knight b5, knight d4. Or maybe I'll go bishop g4, b4, and then go here via, via e2. And if he tries this... Okay, let's go b4. I need to speed up. That's the first thing I need to do. Bishop g4 doesn't matter too much, I think. Okay, maybe rook c1 and then try for this. If I get into time trouble, it will be a problem. Takes twice. I did not expect this. Still, it might be good. But I don't know, this is usually a weak, big weakness in those structures. My bishop here is dumb, but I don't know how dumb. Bishop g4. Okay, now let's play like this. Take six and then put the queen on c4 and then attack. And also there will be knight a4, knight c5. Okay, I, he's I think playing too quickly. You think he misplayed? Now I like my position. Knight a4, knight c5 is gonna come. Or we will just take queen c5 and then put more pressure. And then later here. Even though my bishop is stupid for now, that doesn't matter too much. It stops knight h4, which is important. If knight e7, probably bishop h4. Or knight e7, bishop h4, knight f5. There's some tactics. Let's see what he does. At least we're getting, at least we're getting uh, even on the clock. Because I was... At the clock disadvantage for some time. Ok, 
Okay, it goes there. Uh, got my four knight c5, as we said, will do. If he plays some rook to d8, knight c5, knight d5, I think I have knight b7. Maybe he can technically play some knight e7, but... Oh, go c6. I didn't see that. Probably a good move. Yeah, I didn't see this. Okay, we'll have to... We'll have to play on. Can I take on a6? Probably it's going to be drawish after that. Okay, let's try. Take stakes. If yeah, if he, I wanted to say there was a fork, had he gone immediately there? And now I'm not sure. Can I go here? Knight. I think I can. Knight is seven here and rook b eight. I hope at least. Maybe he can go king h7 first too. Okay, uh, I will try to call his bluff. Oh no, I blundered. Okay, we have to. I have to focus. I have to focus. I started blundering and I'm in time trouble. I'm still bare, but I'm not sure how much. Maybe I'm not bear at all. Only nine seconds. I hope I'll have ninety six now. He's also in time trouble. Okay, he cannot take G four. No, that was so stupid by me. How can I be this stupid? He really didn't deserve to win this game. Very unfortunate. I just... I didn't want to hold hold the draw because I mean I think I need three out of three and then I have five. A five was extremely dangerous. Had I seen a five, would probably won the game. And yeah, five would just didn't seek me King G five. Okay. That's disappointing. But it's my own fault. Had they just won the game against... Uh, had they just won that game against Kamsky, it would be, it would be completely different. That's how it goes, I suppose. Very unfortunate.
That's sad. That's sad. I'm not sure what or should I should I have pressed better. Okay, doesn't matter. I got a new game. I have to go emotes only and and try to win. Now it doesn't really matter if we win or not, but let's let's fight it all the way to the bitter end. And the end is very bitter. <clears throat> After the last game, I mean. The end is very bitter. Okay, C4 looks like a strategical mistake. 3, 5 and so on. Or maybe knight e4 first, so there is not even knight c3. And then e5. And I'm hoping if this ever gets traded or something, these squares could be utilized by my pieces. <clears throat> it goes knight d2, probably should take that. Queen takes, now there will be no knight b5 or c5 ideas. Now I'm pretty sure I'm completely safe. And that I'm the only one who can be better. E4 is usually not an idea in these structures because it's hard to attack with the bishop here and these bishops lock down. So you usually want to go here and then take. And then if he takes with the pawn, try to exploit this file and the bishop still remains stuck. And if he takes with the knight, then you get knight c5 and then the structure is just bad for, for white strategically. And if anyone's bare, it's black. You can also try some f5, g5 attacking ideas, but it's kind of hard when position is not closed. Okay, this is extremely dangerous by him. He cannot, he has to take with the knight, and then I I will go, I will go knight c5, and now I immediately want this, and I immediately want knight b3. I can go here, and now I can go either queen g5, which will probably lead to a tactical skirmish. There are all kinds of ideas. Or I can play the position of bishop e4, which is probably probably going to give me a pawn. So I mean, usually should just play simple moves when uh, when you can. Uh, now I probably take. Is there something better? Probably not. Like somehow I feel sorry for this bishop. I don't want to give it up. I probably should. I can also take a full pawn now instead of the exchange. Spoiled for choice. Okay, I'll take the pawn. I'm not one hundred percent sure what's better, but I somehow feel too sorry for this bishop. It's so nice and strong. And now we'll go back and then threaten all the same stuff without the a4 pawn. That's why I said this structure is usually not so great. Okay, b4. Probably take, take, no, c5 here takes. There's also a point to that, but it gives this bishop a life, which I don't really want to, so I'll just go back. Queen g5 is probably my next move. H5 is also useful. Okay, he makes prophylactic move, makes a lot of sense. Bishop B5 is probably relatively strong too. Let's do that. Now I'm not sure what to do with that bishop anymore, so. And now again. A very nice choice. Boat captures feel feel great. But I want to keep stuff closed, I think. Knight before I will just go back. And rook a rook a1 I can parry with 
which we can eat. The only thing I have to be careful is time trouble as always. I don't want to allow okay stop on them. And this I should probably take and go here. I still need to show some ta some technical uh, some technique, let's just say. And for me that's always a problem. No matter how easy it is. Okay, let's go queen eight. Yeah, it might have not been the best. Shouldn't change much, but wasn't the best move for sure. Like takes takes queen a one, bishop c six knight t four. Okay, it doesn't do that. I want to take the knight, I think, or maybe not. It depends on some factors. Is knight d6 a threat? No, I don't think so. There is knight e4 in the end. Or is there? Knight d6, take, take, knight e4, rook d7, knight d6, rook d6. Can that actually work? Maybe knight e4 immediately. Okay, even if I blunder some something I won't be it won't be that sad. But oh no wait, there's no Egyptian. Okay, I, now I'm losing winning positions and so on. But who cares anyway? As we said, chess is not fair. I mean, when you lose to players like this, who, who just show zero understanding and uh, then you feel like complete, like complete crap. I'm just gonna be completely honest. That was zero tactical understand, uh, strategic understanding by White. But they, they win against you. And I didn't see beginning I didn't see this. That's my own fault, fair enough, but it's here I just forgot about IGP possibility. Maybe I should just I should just take this this stupid exchange and then play on. Completely winning anyway. It was completely winning if I even if I took the A4 pawn, which I did. No comment on this really. No comment on this. 
And let's finish the last game to the bitter end. And then we'll try to do better on the other title Tuesday. Let's play some garbage. I think you're supposed to play like this against 6 and bishop f5. Correct me if I'm wrong. What's the move here? Maybe it's e4, but I, I don't know this. These things. Can I stock a pawn on h4 ed? Probably not. But after that last game, I've lost. I have to admit, I lost every desire to play chess. <laughs> it's just... That's why I'm playing like this. Sacrificing the pawn. This is objectively, I'm pretty sure, very bad. But uh, I'm trying to exploit his lack of development. Like, this is an immediate threat. And uh, if he takes, then his queen could be in some problem. I don't know, bishop g5. I didn't calculate, I just played by ear. Or maybe knight g5. Then he go, has to go here, I go here, and he might be trapped somehow. So this is a sensible move, I think. Now I should probably take, or even rook g one but rook g one there is f6. I could also go e4. It also looks kind of decent. Yeah, why not? Maybe he'll show me why not. Like knight d6 I'll probably take. And then I'll take here. And then he has to take with the king and they get some more tempo. Like knight g5, ed, and then rook e1. No, but they should not have started with this. There will be queen in f4. I'm probably better even if I go for d5 stuff. But it was not my idea. This is still better for me. I will go queen g6. Or rook g1, which one is stronger? He'll go knight d7. Maybe here just to threat. No, I blundered. I blundered in one move again. I again blundered in one move. But yeah, after after the last game I have no desire no, no desire to play really. Now zero things I can do now. Like, rook g1, I'm probably much, much better still. And then later bring the knight. No, I have no moves. No moves. Trying to think of any tactical idea, it's just not there, it doesn't exist. Like there is queen before, there is c5, he's spoiled for choice here. This is the only move I'm not sure about because it doesn't develop a piece or create a threat. Clearly it's still completely winning, but... I won't say that I have chances, but I will say that he made his life more difficult with that move.
maybe not that difficult. Had I gone with this knight, there wasn't even a, even a threat. So. I had to go with the other knight. Now I'm trying to go knight of six. But you can even, yeah, suck to... And the full uh, rook or whatever. I will still not resign, but I don't have chances. I'll probably have to resign very soon. And with that, we finished the worst, the worst title Tuesday in a long time. So can't say I'm, I'm sad that it's over. But we'll play again. We'll play again soon. Do I ever play against yours? No, I don't. I used to three years ago, but now all competitive stuff. The Knight 3 is probably not the move, E4 is the move. So this was good by playing by instinct and yeah, just... But yeah, as I said, E5 first because I thought I can go E D5 but I forgot about Queen F4. Still Rook H1 is better for me and here it's just a one move plunder. Just Rook H1, Knight to Knight F4. Layer I had no chance. But yeah, it was it was this game. It was this game because because not only that I didn't win, but I actually lost against someone who was lost with white strategically after fifteen moves. It's, like, it's just frustrating. Okay, I think we're gonna end the stream. And thanks everyone for watching. I'll post this on YouTube too. So can rewatch or something. Now that you're gonna learn something, you're gonna learn how not to play chess. And see you in a few hours actually. And I'll be back for for uh, the late of Tuesday. I'm not sure if I should if I should raid someone. Probably not. Not even sure how many viewers we have. I have thirteen. Um, I don't know. This is the first cha chess channel I have uh, that has come on my list, so. Let's read WFM Anakushaba, whatever, whatever the right pronunci pronunciation is, and uh, and see you some other time. Bye. -bye.